What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you who don't know, my name is Chris Moore and in today's video we got a fun one on the dyno guys. 2022 Yamaha R1M all carbon fiber bike with a $4,000 new Akrapovich exhaust system. Yeah, that's right guys. We're going to be testing the World Superbike Akrapovich exhaust system. This thing was $4,000 and it's so big you can't even run your factory bottom fairings yeah that's right guys the bike comes the or the exhaust system comes with an additional lower fairing that it's going to bolt on the bike to cover everything up because the exhaust tubing is so large we're going to see what this thing's all about today find out is it worth the money how does it compare to my r1m which has got the El Cheapo exhaust. Yeah, that's right, $2,500, junk. <laughs> it ain't junk. I actually thought it was the best exhaust you could possibly buy until I seen this thing. It looks good, sounds good. We're gonna find out is it worth the extra money today on the dyno. Stay with us guys, here we go. Before we get too far into this, let's go look at my bike, see what it's all about with the, I guess you would say, standard Akrapovich Evolution exhaust system to see how it compares with the World Superbike Exhaust Plus 2. We're gonna take a peek at the Kawasaki H2 that we're currently doing the giveaway on. Right now, you can go to moremafia.com, buy yourself some merch, whatever you spend on the website is gonna enter, get you entered into a chance to win this new Kawasaki H2. So here is my R1M. As you can see, the exhaust system pretty much looks the same until you get to looking real close. See right in here? My exhaust way, way smaller than this one, or than the other one. We're gonna compare these, see how they made up, but ooh, look at what we have here. 2023 Kawasaki H2 Carbon Full Titanium Van Diemen Exhaust System. More Mafia Flash and Tune. You can win this bike for as little as $5 spent on the website. All right, let's get back out to the dyno and finish up the video. All right, let's fire this thing up, see what it sounds like. Honestly, sounds about the same. I have already warmed up the engine. We're gonna start to put some heat in these headers. Watch how they turn colors as we go throughout the dyno run. Look at how close the exhaust is to the oil cooler. She tight. this thing is gonna need a lot of fuel to make it run right because literally the other bikes they usually run pretty good with the stock tune I think this thing is gonna need a lot of tuning to make it dialed in and run the way it's supposed to all right the bike is all warmed up the tires are warmed up it's time to do the baseline pull and see what kind of numbers we get remember the ECU is still restricted so I wouldn't be expecting anything super great I guess you
engine, 72 horsepower on the new R1M. Not very impressive, but we already know that these things have crazy reduced horsepower due to the amount of restrictions in the ECU. Now, I'm not gonna talk much about that in the video today because I have multiple other videos talking about that. If you have not seen those videos, be sure you scroll through our channel, check those out. No matter what kind of new bike you have, definitely has a lot of restrictions in the ECU and we can remove those for you. Just check out our website, moremafia.com for more details. All right, so our air fuel ratio, the bike is lean, but our throttle plates are not going wide open. So we're gonna fix all that. The ECU is flashing now. I wanted to take a second to show you what the headers are starting to look like now. As this thing is starting to get a little bit of heat into it, you can see we're starting to get some gold, a little bit of blue and purple here and there. We're gonna change all that here in just a second once we put a little fire in the hole. Now, I wanna, I guess you would say, go over one thing. This is a R1M. This is almost a $30,000 bike. Unfortunately, the R1M is the exact same engine as the regular R1. There is zero horsepower advantage to having an R1M versus an R1. I don't care what you've been told, it's the exact same thing, dude. I've dynoed so many of these things. R1M, R1, exact same thing. Part numbers on the ECU itself. There's a sticker on the ECU that shows us the part number right here. Exact same ECU, R1, R1M, exact same tune, exact same power, boys. So if you got an R1 and you want this exhaust, you could put this on your bike as well. You're just gonna be missing some carbon fiber fairings and some electronic suspension, but your power output should be the same. ECU will be done flashing here in just a second, and we're gonna find out what we can get out of this $4,000 Akrapovich exhaust system. Here we go, the tune from my bike is loaded into this thing. Let's see how close these exhaust systems are in the tune. If the tune is pretty close, then the power is gonna be pretty close. I'm interested to see what the difference is. Now, when I tuned mine, it was back in cool weather. Currently at 77 degrees with 60% humidity. So not our best dyno conditions, but we'll see how it compares. numbers the ECU on this thing once we unlocked all the power from it the bike performed really really well now I've got a few interesting things pulled up well for one we're gonna talk about this so let's talk about our before and after 172 to 189.39 with 82 foot-pounds of torque so really good numbers keep in mind the bike is brand new it has exhaust air filter and that's it no ceramic wheel bearings, no 520 chain, no nothing. Stock sprockets, the whole nine yards. Okay, we got the air fuel dialed in perfect. Peak RPMs, we gained almost 30 horsepower, 164 to 189, 25 horsepower. Either way, huge, huge gains, all right? Now, for what we were, I guess you'd say, kind of sort of here for, was to see is this World Superbike worth it on a stock motorcycle so i'm gonna go over here to chris moore r1m my file and then we're gonna pull up some of our numbers from pump gas now this was done in december guys okay so we're gonna show you this my bike made 192 
and 81.92 foot pounds of torque. Now you can see the air fuel or the horsepower chart pretty much dead on the money, okay? So horsepower wise, almost the exact same. My bike actually made a little bit more, but if we go to display conditions, when I ran my bike, it was 52 degrees outside with 9% humidity, super, super good air. This bike doesn't have super good air. We're at 79 degrees with 55% humidity. So a big difference in the weather. Plus my bike, ceramic wheel bearings and 520 chain conversion. That right there is worth a couple of horsepower. So all in all, yeah, I, the exhaust system is definitely better than the standard Acro Evolution. Now, is it worth double? I'm gonna leave that for you to talk about and decide. Comment in the comments below. Let me know what you think about this exhaust system. Is it worth it? How much do you think it would pick up if we put a set of GYTR cams in this thing? I think that's what they really need to really make this exhaust system shine. Comment in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Check out moremafia.com. Go to the website right now. Get yourself some merch. Yep, yep, you can get that shirt if you want to. Go get yourself some merch so you can get entered into the chance to win that new Kawasaki H2. Go to moremafia.com. All the details are there. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new to the party. Welcome. Click the bell for notifications. Smash that like button. As always, guys, we appreciate you watching. Whoa, 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 whoa. We got to get this thing put back together so you can see what it looks like. This bike is far too pretty to leave us looking like this. Man, after we got this new R1 back together, I'm thinking the exhaust might be worth the money, boys. The carbon fiber belly fairings make it look so, so good. The weave matches up really nice as well, but man, this thing turned out super, super good. Look at all the carbon fiber we got. Carbon fiber exhaust hanger. You notice on the dyno, this was not bolted on there. We had to bolt the stock foot pegs on there just so we could dyno it, tie it down. This is not, this is strong, but this is not strong enough to hold it. So the exhaust was looking a little cattywampus on there, but that was only temporary. Ooh wee. What do you think this thing right here, in my opinion, quite possibly the best looking sport bike on the money comment let me know what you think do you agree with me or do you think something else looks a little better all right guys that's gonna do it for today's video thanks for watching we'll see you next time